Does he, how much do any of these people really care about carbon emissions, Ann Coulter? <laughs> that is so fantastic. No, but I mean, like, what does that even, I mean, how can that even be? I know. No, I know. And it isn't like the hypocrisy that conservatives can sometimes be caught with. We know we're all sinners. Sometimes Christian conservatives aren't yeah, yeah. going to live up to that. But it's these things, you can't say, oh, I slipped. When a televangelist <laughs> gets caught doing something immoral, they cry and they apologize. Maybe they do it again. Maybe it's hypocrisy. I'm not defending. It. But it's not but a, there's a recognition. This would be like your Christian conservative running a brothel as his job. And then not apologizing isn't... for it. It's like I bought brothel op, op, you know, <laughs> offsets to make it okay. Right, and we've been being, to, exactly, we've been being told since, well, uh, only by Al Gore since 1992 that if we don't act instantly, instantly, the planet will be, it's a catastrophe, it'll be over. I mean, this shows, how long ago was that movie, The Day After Tomorrow? That has to at least be a decade old. Um, you know, when Jake Gyllenhaal was hiding. Yeah. The New York Public Library, but we didn't do any of this stuff. So it's um, you know 30 years with Al Gore. It's 10 years from the day after tomorrow, and nothing ever seems to happen. That's why lots of us in America don't believe this global but, but warming. Let's say, but, but they don't believe it either. They don't believe it either. They don't either. believe this it. They don't believe so it what's either. It? look? I'm not uh, questioning climate science. I'm not even weighing in on that. I'm merely saying if you tell us that CO2 right. emissions are destroying the world, and you're flying a private jet, it's obviously not about CO2 emissions for you. What is it really about? Oh, power control, keeping the little people down. They want us to live like Drew. And it's part of their Druidical religion because they don't have a real religion. Huh. I, That's you know, I'm beginning so to think you're right. For those of you who, who follow my Twitter feed closely, you know that what I really care about is Donald Trump building the wall. But after the Paris Accord thing yesterday, I was watching TV because I was packing. And it was so hilarious. And I realized it really is a religion for them. He has challenged their religion. I know. He's an apostate <laughs> and they want to burn him. And culture, thank you for that. Thank you.